Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome back to the shipyard where we're building the Galaxy Class USS Enterprise D. Now, it is time for issue 9. Let's see what we're going to be doing in this week's little bit of building. So I am pretty much just carrying this on over from the last recording and we finally get to do a little bit of stuff with this. It's going to slowly come together over this issue and will be on the frame by the end. And the first thing that we need to do, we need to take just this little panel full of windows and that needs to go in, which way? <laughs> Around this side. And you just plug in right there. We will be further securing that later in the issue. But for now, that can just sit off to the side. But what we get to do now is we get to install this. This is our main circuit board for the saucer section. And oh boy, this is going to be interesting. So the first task we've got for this part of the assembly is just plugging this cable right in there. It feels a little bit loose. If I don't wiggle it too much, I'm sure it's fine. Cool. But now I need some space because we need to get this circuit board built into the saucer and it is going to be a tricky son of a bitch I'm sure so we've got to get all of these cables out of the way as best we can and this needs to go in right in here it seems like so how many of these cables are currently being a problem? <laughs> Answer, lots of them. Let's see about getting this screwed in. Hopefully we can try and tidy things up a bit. Right, circuit board installed. Now we have the fun of trying to wire all of these cables in correctly. Let's start collecting them. The tricky bit here is figuring out what cables I'm meant to be plugging in. Okay, all of that wiring there is in. Sort of. <laughs> but we need to tidy these cables up a bit and we've very generously been provided with some actual cable ties. So, I'm gonna try and tidy this stuff up a little bit by just fastening some of this to the frame. Well, I think I've done a fairly decent job of trying to tie all that together. Uh, it's looking a little bit neater under here, so I will take whatever I can get. I just want to be sure that all of these are still firmly into their little sockets. I believe they are, and I think I got all of the correct cables. So, I'll take that. I'll take whatever I can get. Now we're going to work on some more of this, so... Let's see, what are we looking for this time? We're looking for this one. All right, those are in. Now I've just got to tidy these up by fastening them all down onto the frame around here. I think this is all looking good. Got a bit more that we need to be doing. Oh, things are starting to come together with all of this. It is somewhat of an improvement as we, as we go forward. A little bit more cabling to tie up. I've only got three ties left, so I've got to make them count. Right, that should have everything held in place. I really hope. <laughs> I've finished wiring in the last of the current saucer plating into the circuit board. So, I suppose now we need to plug in our little battery pack and see if all the lights work. And holy shit, would you look at that. The whole of the saucer that we've assembled so far illuminated. Oh, that looks lovely. <laughs> yes. Oh, I like it when progress like this is being made. For now, this hefty bugger can go away. I also just realized we haven't actually done anything with this. This one didn't come with windows. Never mind. Move on to the next part. So another piece of saucer frame to go about assembling. Uh, we get a little bit of a reflector plate that is going to be going onto this. So we're slowly building up this 
side of the neck, which is going to be coming along nicely. But uh, first up, the usual business. And there we have one assembled saucer plate. Very nice. Now, we can move on to this. And just place this reflector panel in there. We're going to need the neck as well. So I'll bring that over and we can be very careful with what we're doing here. So we're not fully securing this on yet because we've got more windows and stuff to sort out. But we need CP screws. How many in total? Three. Now we take this cable that we looped in, or one of the cables that we looped in earlier, I think it was in the previous issue, we'll separate this out a bit, and we're going to feed these in, uh, buh, buh, buh. don't think it matters which way round, we'll do it this way though, and I think we've got that sorted, it's still going to be hanging all loosey-goosey for the time being, but uh, yeah, that's going to go on nicely there once we can get more of the reflector panelling in. And I think for now, we'll just put it off to one side. So we got another piece of the saucer hull. And this one is going to be heading further around the back because this is a little cutout for where one of the impulse engines is meant to go on the saucer. So we're really working our way around to the back of that now. And oddly enough, this is the only thing that we're going to be doing with this part of the assembly. Okay. Rules is rules. Alright. That ends that stage. <laughs> nice and easy. And what stage isn't complete with the last one having a ridiculous number of windows to install. Uh, let me crack on with that. Okay, so the installation or the construction instructions, however you want to put it, were a little incorrect with this one. Um, it was telling me I needed one more black or dark window than it actually showed being in use. So it told me to pull nine out of these when I only needed eight and I needed one more of the, those ones. You, you get what I'm on about. I'm, I'm doing a very poor job of explaining anything today. But that's another plate down. I'm sure we're going to be assembling all of these soon. I'm going to take this now and... What have I done with the thing? Oh yeah, it's still attached to that, isn't it? So now we can take our new window panel and we can attach that to this part of the frame along with the reflector. And then I've got to get the lights installed in under all of this. So that's going to be the, the fun bit. Give me a moment. Okay, so all of the wiring is now done for this piece. We're going to fix it in onto this soon, but we've got to try and get a couple more cables in for the other side so I need to get these kind of threading through on this side the same we did for this one all right those wires are in I think we could try and tidy some of this stuff up a little bit but now we need to try and fix this into place so I believe I have to loosen this a little bit. Oh boy, this is going to be tricky because this is kind of a slot in behind the existing pieces. Ooh, that's not quite in. Just got a hook in right under there. And all these wires up here at the top, I'm really not liking them being quite so uh, caught up in things. Oh, I think it's almost in. Need to raise this a little bit more. There we go, because that's got a catch on the underside of it, I think. Just to hold it up and in place. Oh ho ho! I think we got it. God damn, it's nerve wracking. Right, I need screws. Need to fix this bitch in place. I've taken the whole kind of foot part of the neck off because I wasn't able to see where I was meant to be screwing this into because I can't seem to line it all up. 
it's taking an awful lot of effort to try and get this, these pieces into place. Because nothing seems to be aligning properly. Oh, that snapped. <laughs> I think in a good way, I think that means it snapped into place. Doesn't sound broken, so I'll take that. It's being a lot more aggressive than I would like. But hooray, these screws are going in. Oh, now how's that looking? <laughs> we are getting there. Oh, I like this. I'm going to try and put this back on in some way, shape or form. I think I lost at least one or two screws pulling this thing apart. Okay, we've reassembled that as best we can. That's starting to look good. I mean, it was looking good anyway. But I need to go about getting myself like another set of triple A's because at the moment I'm bouncing batteries between this one and this one and I'm pretty sure that the patch job I did on this little box is coming to pieces. So um, yeah, I'm not gonna be testing the lights for this bit just now. We'll do that at the start of the next issue or something or once we get the other side assembled. But, no, I'm really liking how this whole thing's coming together. I think that is it for this issue. So, issue nine is all done and out of the way. Nice. But I'm really happy with the assembly that's been coming along so far. It's been really good. We're starting to see some good progression now that the saucer is you know, more plates are coming in, things are kind of really starting to get assembled into one collective thing, and with, you know, getting more hull and stuff on things like this, it's just, it's looking great. Like, even if that didn't light up, that would look awesome. It's a bit, it's still been a bit of a pain in the arse actually trying to assemble some of this stuff, and I'm so nervous that things are going to break, but we're getting there. But with that, I'm going to wrap this episode up here, so I'll just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do check out the playlist on the channel for more content, quite a lot of which is Star Trek related. And, yeah, do check out any of the links in the description below for kind of like social medias and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm not massively active these days, but, um, yeah, it's just somewhere else to keep in touch if you wish. And I'll just say thank you again for watching, and I'll catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meatshield, signing off.